morning everybody thank you all for joining us i am here with uh, min yang from razor and uh, min why don't you introduce yourself to our uh, viewers hi guys it's min i'm from uh, razor i'm the ceo it's been uh, it's a real pleasure to be here I like your business card says chief gamer over there, not chief executive officer as it usually is. So I mean, that sort of sets the tone about how products are designed in the company itself, I guess. Um, so Ming, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what are the, some of the new products that you have on here on display at GTEx this year? Sure. Well, over at Gitex, um the first product that we're really announcing or, or pushing forth um, for the region is the Electra. It's um, the first headset that we've actually designed specifically for gaming on the go. So it's got a phenomenal amount of uh, a phenomenal quality in terms of sound, and um, it's designed specifically to have two different cables, one for your PC, and bam, you, know, you can bring it on and go for, for your mobile phone and, and what have you. Thank you. It's always easier to talk about it when you've got a product in your hand. So, so this is it. This is the, the, Razer, Electra, uh, the Razer Electra. There we go. It's, um, super comfortable and uh, we've really really optimized the sound for the uh, headphones it's um it's truly phenomenal okay and i like that it's got a simple 3.5 mm jack at the bottom so again sure. mobile is that a okay that's an inline mic over there yes it is in fact we've got two versions for it um, and it ships with two cables so essentially if you want to bring it for your um, iphone or your for your mobile phone this has got a four point jack you can jack it in it works with an inline microphone and uh, we've got another version where it comes with just the line itself and you can connect it for uh, you know your pc your laptop your blade so on and so forth so um speaking of blade why don't you tell us a little bit uh, i mean uh, before the blade was announced obviously the public went wild about the switch blade mm -hmm. that you guys announced i think two uh, a year and a half back or two years back actually it's, it feels really long but it was just ces earlier this year so that was 10 months ago okay wow uh, so again you know if you could just sort of give us an update on that um, itself because now the spotlight sort of shifted on the blade itself uh, which is uh, you know the big platform coming from you guys but what about the switch blade sure so the switch blade was concept device for us to really show what we could do for true portable gaming on the go so we've actually incorporated some of the elements of that technology the switch blade UI into the blade um, user interface itself so, you know, you'll actually see the first iteration of the Switchblade technology with the Razer Blade. Okay. And as of, um, I mean, I don't know if you can say this or not, but as of now, any plans to bring out Switchblade as a standalone product? So, I, as with all Razer product, we don't really talk about it before it's released. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> and about the blade itself, uh, what are the expected sort of, uh, for the Middle East region? I mean, can you talk about expected release dates or prices for that matter? Well, at this point of time, we've had a huge amount of interest on the razor blade in the Middle East uh, region. So it's definitely one of those areas of which we are really focused to kind of launch it. Um, however, as it stands right now, it seems that orders are going through the roof in, in the US. And we're trying to do our best to see how we can accommodate to the um, demand first and then take a step-by-step -step approach uh, to launching it uh, in the various regions. So we hope to have some news in the next couple of months for you. Okay, awesome. And uh, in the next couple of months itself, are you guys planning to have any sort of uh, hardware revisions before you know it's re um, released in different territories? Uh, keeping in mind that the, some of the new Intel processors will be launching out by, I guess, next month maybe? So Intel is one of our key partners uh, for the Razer Blade, and we co-designed the Razer Blade together with a huge team, engineering team from Intel. Definitely, I think in terms of... Um, keeping ahead of the technology curve, that's something which we are known for at Razer, and it's going to be something that um, will be the case for all our product line. Brilliant stuff. Um, you have another upcoming product, the, the arcade stick, uh, that's been making the news lately as well. What can you tell us about that? Well, one thing we've realized about the arcade stick community, it's a very vocal, it's a very passionate community, and uh, many of them from this region too. So what we've done is we're taking a really long-term approach to this. All our product line today are validated by professional gamers in tournaments, um, in, in events, so on and so forth. In fact, we are probably the top brand in the world that most pro gamers use, I think, in terms of events. But the difference for the arcade stick in this case is that we're not just getting our pro gamers to validate it for us. We are actually opening this up to 
gamers worldwide. We're shipping them prototype hardware. And uh, this is a huge, it's an expensive proposition. But what we're going to do is that we're going to be getting gamers from North America, from Europe, from Asia, from the Middle East to give us feedback. And they can sign up at our site and uh, we're going to be selecting a couple of hundred of these guys, ship them all a prototype fight stick. Uh, they're going to be able to hold on to it. They're going to have to give us a lot of feedback, you know, in terms of the, the arcade stick. But we're really looking to make the perfect, the ultimate arcade stick, just like what everyone's familiar from, from Razer. Nice. Um, and uh, any idea on when you guys will start this initiative about, you know, uh, the, the selection process and then, you know, shipping that out? to these gamers for you know testing because obviously once it goes out to them then feedback from them is going to take about you know I, honestly I don't know how long it'll take but I'm assuming a good couple of months sure. well we've been around for a long time but we don't have a lot of product you realize we can, we tend to take a very long time in terms of of designing and developing uh, product so this is going to take a while. We're going to be making an announcement pretty soon in terms of um, the selection process and, and who's going to be receiving units from us. Um, but to be candid, as you've, as you've noted, this is going to be an iterative process. It's, we might have um, a, a second beta. We might have a third beta. Our goal, as with all the product that we come up with, is to come up with the best, with a perfect product. It's, it's not good enough for us to have a good product. It's not good enough for us to have a great product. It's always having a phenomenal product that we want to have. So it's going to take a little bit of time. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, with anything good, then it does take time. Uh, speaking of, uh, you, you talked about professional tournaments and uh, giving these out to people. Uh, Razor's been making a lot of name. I mean, not just recently, since quite a long time. But what about the, how are you seeing sort of the changes in the recent, you know, uh, the, the professional scene? Uh, esports, if you like, sure. uh, and not only the Asian region, but also you know maybe uh, worldwide as well. Well, we were the first to start sponsoring you know professional esports athletes and stuff like that many many years ago. So we kind of created this entire space, and this was uh, we're talking about more than a decade ago. So. We have created this space, and many of the others have, have followed. And we think it's a great sign that eSports is growing throughout. Now, it's great that um, we see all these events coming up. We, we are investing a lot in terms of our North American gamers. We have uh, top gamers from Europe and, and, and in Asia at the same time. But in the Middle East, and that's why I'm here personally myself this time at, at Jitex, we think there's a huge amount of potential in terms of uh, of this region, I think there's a huge amount of uh, potential with uh, the gamers. In fact, I, as I mentioned yesterday when I touched down, bam, straight away I wanted to go to see how gamers play, you know, over here. So I went to uh, uh, a, a brand new cyber cafe uh, at uh, JBR, right? Yeah. I, I checked it out, it's called Ground Zero, and I was, I was blown away by, I think, some of these guys of whom, they're real gamers, you know, they're, they're passionate about things, and that's some, something which we wanted to talk about over here. We are investing in a really big way, I think, to grow the industry as we have grown it globally, right here in the Middle East. So that's what we're planning uh, for the next couple of quarters. Okay. So does that include sort of uh, hosting tournaments or uh, you know sponsoring certain local events? Uh, how, how's that going to go? Cool. So we've thought about it and um, we've put together uh, a small fund to kind of kick things off about a million dirham. We think we're going to put in a million Durham in the next couple of uh, uh, months to focus on three things. First, to sponsor great cyber cafes like what I've, I've talked about. You know, these are the, the venues of which you know, true gamers come and gather together. Um, and we're looking to support cyber cafes, uh, land shops, if you will, um, throughout the region. The second area is really to focus in terms of having a platform for gamers to not just gather at the cyber cafes and play, but to compete. So we're going to be sponsoring quite a number of tournaments in the next couple of quarters moving forward from here. The third thing is the gamers themselves. So we have you know, some of the top pro gamers in the world that all use Razer product. What we want to do is really to support a team in the Middle East or, to, or teams, if you will, or gamers, in the, if you will, in the Middle East to compete on an international level. So we've got this thing called Team Razor, where we've got top pro gamers from uh, uh, you know, North America, the US. I think recently there was an event um, 
uh, for League of Legends where we swept like first, second, third, right? Team Razor, and, and, and it's pretty funny because we, we kind of support different teams competing, but that's cool because it's fun. So the third thing really which we want to do is to support a team or teams in the Middle East to compete on an international level. So three things, supporting the cyber cafes, supporting events and tournaments, and you'll see a couple of Razor tournaments in the next couple of uh, months. And the third thing, the gamers themselves, for gamers, by gamers. Brilliant. And um, is there, I mean, that's quite a lot for people to look forward to. And again, all of this will be coming through, uh, I guess, uh, news releases. And uh, is, is there any particular sort of game that you're, or, you know, well, yeah, I guess game that you're looking forward to? Because, I mean, we've got like Counter-Strike events, StarCraft events. Uh, I don't think WoW, but, you know, some other games as well, RTS games as well. But anything in sp particular you're looking towards? Well, we look at um, you know a whole spectrum of a spectrum of games. Um, Counter Strike is definitely one of the games that uh, we are passionate about ourselves. Um, so we play a lot of that. Dota, for example, that's also something that we play a lot of ourselves. League of Legends. So we're looking to have the whole spectrum of games and to really support uh, gamers on an international level to to be able to do that. And we are going to be kicking off some real tangible announcements in the next couple of weeks. So you'll see actual gaming tournaments, Razer gaming tournaments happening, um, you know, literally in a, in a matter of weeks. So watch out for that. Awesome. Okay, something uh, on a more personal note, I mean, uh, no, sorry. Uh, when you're playing games, uh, I mean, do you prefer to play them on the console or the PC? And even while playing them, are, are there certain times when you're using these peripherals and then you see that, you know, okay, there's certain design decisions that, you know, uh, maybe you can influence in terms of better playability? Well, it's not just myself, but I think the entire company is made of gamers. So I, I play games everywhere. On a personal note, I play games on the PC. I play it on the console. You know, it depends on what game. I just finished Gears of War 3, for example, on uh, the Xbox. Um, I play games on the, on the iPhone, for example. So I believe for gamers, we, we like games in all genres um, when we have the time. And what really happens is that internally, because we've we are probably the only gaming company, um, hardware company, that designs everything from ground up. So the technology is internal within the organization. We do full amount of design. And what happens is that ideas can come from the entire organization. As long as you're a gamer, and we are looking for gamers everywhere, um, these ideas can come from our, our uh, internal staff. It comes from suggestions from the community. We are taking validation feedback from the arcade stick community, for example. So. That's how we, we come up. And for every single Razer product that you see finally launched, you can be assured that it's not just one idea that we've taken through, through fruition. We've actually killed various different products that have come along the way. So for every single one Razer project, it's probably had at least um, you know, 15 other projects that have been killed to get that final product out. So uh, it's painful. But it allows us to iterate over and over again to get the perfect product out. Well, Min, it's been a pleasure. And I uh, hope you enjoy the GTEx. Yeah, absolutely. Well, maybe there's one thing uh, we can uh, talk about. We, we've got this thing specifically for the guys who uh, may not necessarily be able to attend the event. We're actually giving away a couple of these um, online at our site. I think uh, razorzone.com backslash uh, uh 2011. Oh. So I think we're giving away about uh, uh, five of them, if I'm not mistaken, and I hope one of you guys uh, gets to win it. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you.